Although I didn't ban it on Archie, cause, and I should have, so. Here we go. All right, 17 versus Skater Girl here. Link versus Zelda. Well, of course, this is uh, this is Dark Link, so this is Zelda trying to protect herself. Okay, all right, all right. As you can see, these characters are oh, owners, and so, oh, button check? I think we're warm enough. Button yet. check. Nothing crazy just yet, folks. Courage versus wisdom. What, what, what do you think? Courage or wisdom? What do you got? I feel like, on paper, wisdom wins, but courage can do a lot of things for someone. Yeah, I always feel like Zelda and Ganon are way more powerful than Link. I, I just feel like Link just has a bunch of stuff in his pockets. Yeah, I mean, he's just a forager. He's just like, let me just find some stuff in some dungeons, do some cool stuff. Zelda and Ganon have just magical powers, just straight up. Yeah, yet somehow Link always wins. I don't get it. The Master Sword. Yeah, it's, he, has, he has a good sword. Well, you know what? Young Link don't have the Master Sword. He's still in this game. It's true, and, he's, and some say he's better. So, Young Link said, I ain't need no Master Sword. All right, so these guys jumping into it. No more button checks. It's a battle to see which Zelda character is on top. All right, Link versus Zelda. Ah. So Zelda can make all of these projectiles worthless, except for the remote bomb. The remote bomb is going to be kind of a nuisance uh, because if I'm LJ, I would want to get that bomb right in front of her uh, and then try to try to keep it in a position where you can just blow it up when when Zelda goes for down Bs or up Bs. Yeah, for the most part, though, uh, LJ is opting to kind of scrap and get into the face of 17. And hey, there's that remote bomb coming into play. You can't reflect that, can you? Yeah, and uh, oh, Skater Girl already says, you know what? I'm not even going to bother with the boomerang much. I know it's going to get reflected. I know the air is going to get reflected. I know what I have to do to win this match. What I have to do to win this match is I need to get aerials. Oh my goodness, yeah. wow. Oh, a little bit, both of, both of them shoot out their uppies. Neither of them connect, and now we reset back to neutral. I believe that Phantom also in this will also be kind of scary and LJ needs to watch out for because Phantom can do a lot of stuff. Yeah, it definitely can cover Link's up B very, very, very effectively. So, and set that down. I've noticed that LJ is also going for a lot of grabs. And that, that can make a lot of difference because if, if 17 just likes to hold shield, likes to be, you know, just wait, means a lot of free grabs for, uh, for LJ. And right now, up a stock pretty well. Yeah, you know, what I will say is that a oh, very nice recovery, knowing the Din's fire that that she was going to be trapped one way or the other. Uh, LJ Skater Girl says, all right, I'm out of here. Yeah, uh, keeping yourself alive pretty well. Of course, she takes some damage, but hey, I'd rather take some damage than lose a stock. Very patient. Yes, 17, throwing out some options. Nothing's quite connecting for him as LJ just continues to take that lead. Ooh, OK. She, LJ Skater Girl did not think that that the drag down was going to work, so uh, she just shielded instead. Um, and there's Uppy. Gonna get yep. the job done. Uppy is a potent kill move. It connects into itself at like 80, 90 percent. I think I've seen 17 do it before. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it it works very effectively. It it, it, it work, combos into itself on most percents actually. Um, it, it's a much wider range than 10 or 20 percent. Um, it's definitely a kill, kill setup in like the 70 percent range on certain characters. Link, yeah. Link, not so much. Yeah, it's definitely that percent you mentioned, but. Um, and so far, LJ Skater Girl uh, in full control gets a spot dodge up B. Interesting choice there. Yeah, and then almost killed. So one more solid hit will do the trick and take 17 second stock. 17, on the other hand, needs to come back from a stock deficit and, you know, create that zone long, big enough that LJ can't get in because LJ's scrapping. Yeah, I mean, L LJ Skater Girl knows, knows the, her win condition. And the win condition is she's got to outbox Zelda. Uh, because the projectile game isn't, you know, isn't validated. But so far, uh, she's been doing that, and because she's winning the boxing game, she's opened up the projectile game a little bit. That okay, I can throw something in here once in a while and just mix it up. Yeah, we saw that the Din's fire coming out, trying to mix up how LJ was coming back, but just being patient. Still off stage though. 100% is kind of deadly. Phantom throwing you outward. Nice air dodge. Oh, and that's, yep. That, that'll do it. Yeah, that's a, even though it's a sour spot, you, you just fly the acceleration on that down air. If you don't have a jump, you can't. You have to up be right out of it. And nothing she could do there. So last stock here. Yeah, every percent matters here. Can 17 close this gap, or will LJ continue increase that lead? Oh, good DI there. Uh, exp expecting uh, uh, 17, expecting the to DI in and get the neutral there, and said she DIs out. That would have. Set up a bear, but she didn't go for it, so. Phantom's coming in, just walling LJ out. 
And Seventy is trying to call jump ins. He, uh, he he wants Link to jump over the Phantom and catch the catch him with up air, and uh, soon that will be a KO option. But oh yes, covering with that remote bomb and then making Seventeen choose an option. And fortunately, Seventeen did not choose correctly because Link takes game one. Almost looked like um, a rob trap there by putting the bomb at the ledge and then yeah, it's scary. It's like well, the roll I, up with F tilt. If I get up attack or if a normal get up, that thing can blow up in my face. If I jump, I, I can maybe jump. I can maybe roll. One of the options, but choose a roll. Unfortunately, that was not the right one. Yep. So, uh, Skater Girl up 1 0 with Link against Princess Zelda and 17 here. Town and City, a nice larger stage. If you're a zoner, you'd love that. So, logical choice to see. I mean, th this is an interesting battle here for 17 because 17 didn't have a great answer for neutral. Um, I think a punish game is going to be the big deal, right? We saw in a, a moment in the last game where we got uh, Zelda's down throw, and it's, he went for Nair, and he could have got back air. Just call, he's going to have to call some of those right. He's just going to have because Zelda gets those big plays and, and big punishes off of that. So uh, we're going to need we're going to need to see the right call be made because yeah, obviously uh, Skater Girl is not depending on the projectiles to win the fight, and after Zelda has an edge. Let's see, though, a little bit of back and forth, but right now, still, again, 17 at that deficit, but still getting some percentage, though. Happy to duke it out a little bit, as Zelda is not a fine a boxer as Link is, as we can see, but still, you got to get in close. Trying to go high with that Din's Fire, but nothing yet. Okay. A little bit of reflections here and there. Yeah. You know what? I, I, oh, nice nice play. Almost got yeah, LA Skater Gold, and the Din's Fire does get the job done. 17 with his first lead of the set, but not for long. Yes. Tie the game. Yeah, hey, I guess we're playing back in Smash 4 because it's 0, zero two stocks. What can you do? No, Smash 4 is over there. They're playing yeah. it. Security? We get. Well, Osiris is eliminated from the tournament, so he can play it. Well, I'll give him a, a pass. And while Lugi's PR'd, so he's not eligible, so yeah. he can play it. All right, all right. Oh, that yeah. forward smash. Maybe 17 wisely backing up a little bit does not want to get caught up by something like that. I love Zelda's up air. The animation is so so nice. It, Just that, that that this game's cloud. animations are so nice. It is look. It looks beautiful. It does. It does. The characters are all very reactive. Like yeah. the minor details are all covered. The things you wouldn't normally notice. Oh, up air. Yes. Yeah. Nice up air. Of course, low percentage. Not gonna kill, but still very stylish and a great combo. Can I see it? I, I, all right. So we're. You see how many times 17's jumping and then down being. Yes. Ooh, nice, oh, nice fire there. I get two I, in fire stocks. I want, I want to see uh, Skater Girl get a jump up B and call it. That would be very brutal. But right now, LJ has a little bit more things on her mind as she needs to screw this stock. Because right now, it is not a fun deficit. Another jump down Phantom. Jump down Phantom. Jump. If you call it, you can get It's hard. It's not. I'm not saying it's the easy thing to do. But. Oh, does not take the bomb and instead chases down L or chases down 17 rather. Sus air dodge at the top, but you're still living. Okay. Dance around each other. Those heals hurt from Zelda. Oh, just misspaced it. Just missed up. He had a shield. Oh, and the bomb, I think, interrupted that, that combo. I, yeah, I think just the, it's, it lowered the, it increased the hit stun of the first forward smash. So it, it let 17 get away. And 17 now with a second uh, lease on life. And, oh, almost gets the third Din's fire stock of the game. But gets a grab yep. into the Phantom, so that does the job. So 17 biting back, and now it is 1-1 one, one between the two. So, looks like Courage and Wisdom are evenly matched right now, but one of them does have to come out the victor. I feel like, I feel like Zelda's the more courageous character. I feel like the Wisdom is, is Link in this case. I can see that. In Smash Brothers. Uh, Link, Link is just more prepared. Zelda, Zelda relies on making big plays. Yeah, Zelda. she has to go for some uh, crazy stuff. Yeah, I like mean, those uppies into themselves, that combo and kill. Yeah, like oh, and he, he went for it too. Seventeen nearly lost the stock at like forty because he went for an uppie at a shield to win the game. So uh, Zelda has to make those risky plays. But that's why I think it's more creative there. But nonetheless, it's game three on Town and City. And we definitely have seen the projectile 
uh, battle sway towards 17 as the set's gone on here. Yeah. As you can see, these, even the, the slightly charged phantoms are good variants, but 17 is having a hard time getting percentage on LJ. LJ using that boomerang to great effect, getting a lot of percentage on the board. And, you know, I, th I think she's she's got things under control. She, she's going to take her time. She, she knows that she got overzealous in the last match. Uh, and, and that didn't fire, you know, that's a... That's something she's like, oh, I, I dodged that in the first game, but I didn't, I didn't get caught by it this time. So uh, we'll see. 116. Zelda is just about everything KO percent range at this point. Yeah, there's a lot. Uh, up smash, forward smash, up air. A lot of options. The up throw is nearing the point where it'll work. Not quite there yet, though. Only 47% right now on LJ as she secures that first stock from 17 uh, Zelda. I forgot to include Nair in that list. Yeah, Nair is very good. Pretty good move. Yeah, it's, it's plus on shield. So oh. it's a really strong option. Good punish. I yeah, like it. Is your, you think your up is good? Have some up B. See who's in charge around here. Ooh, oh, wait a minute. God, and yeah. she did DI'd it straight left. She said, there's no way that's going to hit me. I'm just going to go to left. And it, she ended up getting caught and losing her stock super early. Yeah. And 17 evens it right back up. I've seen fadebacks before, but fading back onto the Angel platform is something I have not seen. And now 17's in the lead, Raid. Yeah, this is crazy. And the up B again, not going to kill, but that percentage means a lot in this matchup. Will 17 be able to prevail? Nice off stage Phantom trying to cover tracks, jumps over the remote bomb. It's just avoiding a lot of these projectiles that LJ's throwing out. Yeah, the fancy footwork from 17, making sure he's very slippery, Ooh. keeping himself alive. <laughs> that was close. That was close. The forward air nearly did it in the 70s. But uh, 17 is able to stay, hang in there, and the forward air being stale gives him another lease on life here. And that reflector making sure the remote bomb doesn't kill, but that forward tilt seals the deal, and LJ is now up a stock. Back to where she was earlier, but is it going to be enough? Oh, it's, it's not yet. Last one stock to one. game three situation here. Well, you couldn't ask for a better one than this raid. Yeah, who's coming out? Is it going to be Courage or Wisdom Tank? Come on. This uh, is neck and neck. I'm going to go for power on this one. Yeah, Ganondorf just wins. Yeah. But unfortunately, he is not here to play. It is these two duking it out. There it is. Catch it. Her. That's what I, I was saying. He's got got, he's got to call some of these DIs correctly. Gets the 61% 60, to 70%. Got a nice lead here. This, 78. These, Link off stage. Did these phantoms, fire. I think, are too much for LJ to handle. And the spike to finish it off in style. And that's 17 making it out in winners. Wow. That match, it was.